going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So we're still over here at Iron Horse Mud Ranch for their March 2023 Dysfunctional Family Reunion event. So we're getting ready to head on over to the Bounty Hole Competition. Uh, if y'all have no idea what a Bounty Hole Competition is, basically what it is is a big old trench that they dig out with excavators and everything. They turn up the mud, get it all nice and disgusting. And then the guys take turns. You sign up to be able to be in the competition. And then they take turns ripping through that freaking mud, trying to see who can get through it. Now, if two trucks get through it, then whoever got through it the fastest takes home the pot of money. If nobody gets through it, then whoever got the furthest gets the pot of money. Every event, it's a little bit different what the pot of money is. In this event, it's going to be $1,500. So whoever gets through it the fastest or whoever gets through it the furthest, if no one gets through it, then they take home a pot of $1,500 cash. So as always, make sure you guys hit the like button at the bottom of the screen. Hit the subscribe button down there in my channel name. That way you get notified anytime I upload any other videos. Like more mud bogging videos, more t t t t tug of war videos, more freaking bounty hole competitions, more freaking bikini contests, all kinds of good stuff on the channel. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. That way you can be part of the action yourself. We're going to go ahead and saddle up here in a second, head on over to the competition. We're going to go ahead and walk around, check out all the trucks that are going to be competing. And then we'll start watching some trucks ripping through some mother freaking bounty holes, y'all. So, hope you all enjoy the video, and as always, thanks for watching, y'all. So, the first truck is Little Red Express. They're actually the ones that won the Bounty Hole competition at the last event that they had here at Iron Horse Mud Ranch. And then we got, I can't really read his name. Man, I don't know. Badass looking Chevy. Gold, brother. Real mother freaking deal. We got Getting Right. Another badass Chevy. Man, that'd be sick. Straight race truck, bro. All sheet metaled up. We got Sarge. Always does a great job on the freaking truck tug pad. That's gonna probably be a video that come out right after this one. The uh, truck tug award competitions that they do at night. Man, look at the size of this OBS. Thing is stout. Sun. We got Whiskey Ben. Big old Ford. Looking on point. Looks like he's been doing a little bit of mud bogging. Not a lot, but a little bit. Oh, look at this guy with a full freaking ball cane inside. We got Vertebraker. Oh, that's our boy. He freaking kills it. He kills it in the freaking bounty holes, the truck tug of wars, and in the mother freaking freestyle. It's a jack of all traits. Very, very badass rig. We got Shogun. Got this big old flatbed. Everybody's been slinging some mud. Well, there's our boy Jason Holloway. I don't know that he's going to do the mounting on me again. Beautiful. Truck fresh out of the heavy metal fabrication shop. Thing is a beautiful rig. Really like the color scheme going to. And, and no expense spared. Check out the four links. The friggin' sway bar links. Thing is nasty, bro. Monster This is one of AJ's boys, Mr. Joe. Don't know too much else about him, other than he's got a badass truck and he knows how to drive it. Nice fella, too. Then we got the Colorado. He owns them two and a half tons. And then we got Cole Train, always puts on a real good freaking show. That big old Cummins Turbo Diesel. I think this truck is owned by K Haas, the guy that has a big K Haas mega truck. 
pretty sure he's the one that's always ripping on this thing. Quite the setup. We get a time on that, Jake. <laughs> Give me a week. Next. Sounds like us working on the killing the truck. Just one more week and she's gonna start up. And that week comes. One more week and she's gonna start up. Like the orange. It's kind of like freaking Bo Duke's freaking badass car. I'll tell you that. Well, she came. I don't know if she's here. Oh, not that kid. Not that kid. Got Trump Zilla. Oh, yeah. Trump Zilla. That's a lot of Trump Zilla. For this event, a lot of trucks. Mr. AJ's big giant low key mega truck. God, look at how freaking tall that thing is. All right, I gotta give you guys some perspective here. This truck has been in a lot of my videos, and now y'all can't, it doesn't do it justice. Look at I'm standing under the running board, and I'm six foot tall. So when I reach my hand up, I can barely reach the floor. And I'm six foot mother freaking tall. Big old mother freaking truck. I thought I had gas in it. Pretty banging. Hey, there we go. Hey. Hey, 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 hey
truck, girl. All right, next up we got low key AJ and the low key mega truck.
bucket in a little too soon. Next is something I ain't never seen before. It's a freaking mega truck made out of a boat. Check this thing out. We saw it during our walk around, but I wonder how it's going to do. Oh, that's not a good start. All right, good run. All right, up next we got the whatever truck from the right next to the Patriot from my park. Not a bad run, not a bad run. Up next, we got the coal train with that Cummins Turbo Diesel. In fact, some of y'all might be wondering why do they keep rumbling on them once they get stuck like that? The reason why is they're trying to clear the mud out, get the tires, keep them flinging. Eventually, they're hoping their ideal situation is they'll dig down to where there's a little more hard packed mud on the bottom. We're gonna get some traction, be able to pop back out of it. Doesn't always work out that way, but it's worth letting it rip if your truck can handle it. It's worth letting it rip for a second to see if you can dig down to that harder packed stuff where you can keep moving. So that's why they keep going after they get stuck. You're welcome. All right, looks like up next we got Sarge coming out. Well, damn. Not too 
Okay, Mr. Sarge, not too bad at all. Riding Dirty Crew out of Michigan is this next truck. It's called Miscombobulated. It's 1,800 horsepower and the truck weighs 5,000 pounds. <laughs> Holy sh! This is gonna be badass. Alright, full disclosure, I got a little nervous because that thing came screaming. Holy freaking shit. If you're gonna be a camera guy, man, you just gotta stand there and take your chances. Sometimes you might sacrifice yourself for the job. I felt like that's what we were about to do. <laughs> I was like, oh god, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> Up next, we got Little Red Express. If y'all remember the video I did last time we were here, they actually won the bounty hole competition back in October. So let's see if he can pull Rabbit out of the hat again this year. The man, is, the man is no stranger to getting across this thing. This is jumping over that hole. You gotta clear it. So, up next, we got a Jeeper. Part of the Mad Scientist Jeep family.
boy, Mr. Daniel Roberts of the Pimp Juice Mega Truck. like he took it to the house again this year freaking killing it bro awesome hope you all enjoyed the video thanks for watching y'all if y'all enjoyed the video and want to check out future videos subscribe to our channel hit that button right there while you're at it hit the like button at the bottom of your screen you can also check out our website killingitlifestyle.com there you can follow the killing it crew and order your own apparel so everyone will know you're killing it